Welcome to the official announcement of Vulcanoids development and the first development diary. My name is Thomas and I'll be your guide through this series. Making games is an amazing adventure where you constantly discover something new. We would like to share with you our journey by frequently releasing pictures and videos from the development. You'll see the raw form of design and decision making, where all the footage and pictures we will release are those that you really work with. The game is in development now for several months and we would love to hear your feedback about the whole game idea and the features we are working on. To make sure we are able to do development and dev diaries in the same time, we will be showing stuff that is dated a few months back. But since everything is made in iterations and builds up, you will never miss anything. Each week will be dedicated to a specific topic, where every day we will release one daily dev picture and end the week by a dev diary video explaining the topic in detail. That is all for this announcement. Now let's move to the actual dev diary video covering our first meeting where we decide to start working on Vulcanoids. Vulcanoids is a first-person survival game placed on an island with an active volcano. Player owns a movable base that is used to gather resources, upgrade and fight other bases in order to achieve the final goal, silence the volcano. The core feature can be compared to a camper van. You can travel with your packed house and when a destination is reached, structures are deployed and house can be used to its full potential. Once you decide to go somewhere else, everything gets packed and you are on your way. Drill ship that is underground is in silent mode and can't be detected or attacked by another player or NPC. This ensures that the player will not lose its property overnight. To balance this out, ship has limited amount of energy that is consumed and once depleted, the ship automatically goes to the surface where it can be raided by other players. Drill ship has an exterior modular system allowing wide range of modules focused on production, storage and research, while interior can be adjusted to form rooms or corridors equipped with various tech equipment. Every drill ship can be raided while on surface or even when traveling underground. Special modules like drill torpedoes or boarding drones allow enemy to reach other drill ships and force them to the surface. All modules and interior structures are destructible. The only time player is safe from danger is when the ship is in the offline mode. To support the whole idea of a drill ship that has to be underground, island volcano explodes every once in a while. Volcano itself acts as a cleaning mechanic that resets the island's surface to its original state, which means if anybody leaves anything, including the drill ship on their surface, it will be destroyed or heavily damaged. This creates a clean and understandable wipe feature that every player expects and knows how to avoid it. For us developers, it means we can be sure that a server running the game won't have performance issues after weeks of running due to hundreds of items all over the map. This is all for this week's Dev Diary. Please let us know what you think about the game and the described features and ideas. It will help us in the development. Also, we will reply in next Dev Diary video to the top 3 most liked questions in the comments. So please leave us the questions there or like a question that somebody already posted. The next topic will be first concept of the, of the Vulcania island and all its components. We will be posting the daily dev pictures with this topic on our Facebook and Twitter starting tomorrow. So thank you for watching and see you next dev diary video.